Got this. Hey guys, what's up? Season 2 is here. Welcome to... Line. This is, this is the Playhouse. This is your show. I'm not... I'm not gonna do... I'm not gonna do this. I got... Where you going? I, I need you. Where you no, going? I'm not doing this! Hey guys, season two is here. Welcome to the Playhouse. I'm your host, Gavin, aka Fibinator. Uh, this week I'm reviewing DC's newest theatrical release, Suicide Squad, and special guest, local Portland rap star D Marks, is stopping by for a freestyle session, and we're gonna go shoot someone. <laughs> no, no, we're, no, we're not. That's not me. That's, that's him. That's not me. Can we at least play some video games? We we're gonna play some No Man's Sky! <laughs> Die. First up, let's talk Suicide Squad. Uh, now, it was really hard for me not to go into this movie super excited. Uh, I try to remain as unbiased as I can, but the Bohemian Rhapsody trailer was like the coolest two and a half minutes of comic book imagery since the Deadpool trailer leaked. I don't think it was nearly as bad as a lot of the critics made it out to be. Uh, however, I didn't really leave the theater with that like wowed feeling either. Um, Margot Robbie I thought did a great job as Harley Quinn. There's not a whole lot else to say on that. Uh, Deadshot, Will Smith, he nailed it. I thought he did a really good job. Jared Leto's Joker was uh, a very original take. Um, I appreciated that he was trying to do something different with it, you know. And it's ultimately really hard for me to have an opinion on Joker when he doesn't interact with Batman at all in this movie. Like, at all. The action was a lot of fun. And they did a really, really good job at nailing, like, the comic book feel. Matter of fact, the art design and the soundtrack were easily the coolest parts of this movie. On a side note, if you guys haven't seen the Batman Assault on Arkham animated movie, uh, wait a minute on that one. Go see Suicide Squad first, and then watch Assault on Arkham. It, Assault on Arkham is so good, it ruined Suicide Squad for you. It, it really was the uh, Suicide Squad movie that we all wanted. Man, Bat's looking grim for you at the box office getting beat fiscally by a GQ model in red tights, huh? It's easy to make a quick buck with dick jokes and gunplay. Says the guy who went gun crazy in Dawn of Justice. No! Straight merkin fools. Rubber bullets. What about all Alexis guys you plowed over the Batmobile? Those Dodge Chargers got like three stars on the crash test rating. Uh, little rubber airbags, so it's not fatal. Sure, and I bet they're bat shaped too. Everything's bat shaped! Me. I'm in the kitchen and I'm whipping up a Larry Bird. I'm Emma with the water, flick it till my wrist hurt. And when I set it on the scale, it bounces up a third. And when it gets to the smokers, man, they think it's pure. Harry Houdini with that white, I make it disappear. Smoking on some wax, Amber Rose is so clear. Slide through Milwaukee getting bucks, but I ain't a deer. In the back of the jack, I'm so turned up, you know I shouldn't steer. Couple models at the crib, they hitting yoga poses. Medicated Kush got me on a double dosage. Smoking roses till I'm in a pre-comatosis. Ask everybody around the city, they know that I'm the dopest. Welcome back, hanging out today with D Marks, local rapper and important performing artist. Uh, we got to do some planetary exploring with No Man's Sky on PS4 earlier. But first, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Like, where, where'd you grow up? I grew up in the heart of, like, Northeast Portland, Grand High School neighborhood. Okay, so, I mean, when we say local, definitely local. Like, yeah. this is your home here. Oregon grown. Um, now, let's see, what, what would you say are your three, either biggest influencers, or just three favorite musical artists of all time? I would have to say that um, Andre Nicotina, uh, yeah, Andre Nicotina being my favorite hip hop artist, Blink One Eighty Two being my favorite band, yeah. and uh, probably Al Green is my favorite male singer. Oh, good choice, Al Green. Oh yeah. yeah. Can you remember the first video game you ever played, um, or at least the first one that really just stuck out in your mind? You know, the first ones that really stick out in my mind has to be like 
Super Mario World 3. Yeah, but like, good one. It wasn't so much like, you know, that's just the first game I remember playing. The first game I remember being like super stoked on was like Snowboard Kids for the N Nintendo 64. That wasn't a lot of fun. I remember Snowboard Yeah, Kids. it was a lot of fun, but if you have to ask me what the first game I played, it was probably Super Mario World 3. So if you woke up tomorrow and flesh-eating virus monsters everywhere, what superpower would you want? It's like, it's such a tough question. I'd probably... You know, I'd want to be able to generate some sort of weapon out of my body, because that's like the biggest issue is you're going to run out of ammo, or yeah. your sword's going to get dull, or whatever you got. You know, like Wolverine. Like you drop sort of, it, and then yeah. you don't have anything. Yeah, something. You know, I want like Wolverine claws, and I want to, you know, I want to be Wolverine. Like, yeah. Wolverine's not getting taken out in a zombie apocalypse. Just murking fools. Everybody. He's got the claws. He heals fast. He can't even get... Does he even get sick? Has he ever caught a cold? Like I don't think he can anymore. Yeah, that's the whole. The, the healing factor pretty much stops yeah. him from getting sick. Metal bones. So earlier on, we got a chance to check out the new No Man's Sky. It, it's an it's it's a whole new experience. You know, it's like it's next level gaming. I mean, just the fact that you don't have like a structured storyline or anything to follow just makes it really intense. I mean, it's going to lead to people creating cities and creating their own missions and, you know, giving other people jobs. Um, I'm hoping that's where it's going to go. That yeah. would be really cool if they, I mean, you started to be able to build this universe. And I mean, I can't imagine how many jobs people have lost behind this game already. You know? <laughs> um, but, I'm not coming in today. Why? Ruin yeah, that's relationships. That's a case of No Man's Sky. Yeah. <laughs> Ruin relationships. People yeah. probably losing their kids behind this one. Oh look, I can name this. <laughs> I name it the Fart Monkey. Basically, No Man's Sky is an immersive space exploration simulator. Uh, where the only real goal you're given is to reach the center of the universe. For the first two hours of this game, I was completely lost to the magic of uh, sightseeing and logging all the plants and crazy creatures that I came across, uh, and then harvesting all the materials needed to get to the next planet. You can see it just off in like, the distance. Uh, but my, by the time I, I kind of got to my second major warp jump and uh, a, sh a new ship upgrade, um, I started to get kind of bored with the discover new planet and then land, harvest materials, sell goods, rinse and repeat formula. Also, I was under the assumption that this vast, randomly generated universe was going to be uh, inhabited by everyone else playing the game. And so even though rare, the, the chance to run into other players was there. But in actuality, while you can see other players registered names for planets and creatures, uh, so you know you're not the only person exploring No Man's Sky, um, when, even when you go like out of your way to get another player standing in front of you, you never see him in the game. And that really bummed me out. Don't get me wrong, the concept of a vast, unexplored, random universe is awesome. It has a ton of applications for future open world games, and for a while it really is exciting discovering all the cool, weird creatures and abandoned settlements or learning the local language one word at a time. I'd only recommend it for the gamer who loves exploring big RPG style games and spends like a hundred plus hours on said type of game. Uh, maybe rent it first, and after the first few hours, if you're still enjoying it, buy it. Honestly though, I'd wait for a price drop and play Rebel Galaxy to fill your need for the vast universe exploration game. Uh, it's even free on PlayStation Network until next Tuesday. Thanks again for watching guys. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. And let us know what's the best superpower to survive a zombie attack. Leave a message down there in the comments below. Yeah, and if you like this episode, don't forget, be sure to click the thumbs up, man. Come on. Come on. If you like it, it's one button. It's easy. And we also got to shout out D-Marks for chilling us today. Uh, links for all of his music and where to get some of those awesome t-shirts. Uh, all going to be listed down below. And you know, I just wanted to say, keep your eyes out for my new project, Easel, with my producer, Jake Sleep. Uh, you know, you can follow us on uh, all sorts of social media, all found at interstatefamily.com. And thanks to Gavin over here for having me again. You know, it's been wonderful. This is fun. Thanks, I, man. Thanks, yeah. Definitely. Now let's see what else I got to do for
I love 